This is Gene Key's SkyServe News. Dental records have been used to identify a South Texas man who was sought after his wife was slain. New Brunsville's police says a body found September the 8th near an abandoned vehicle was 43-year-old Shannon D. Smith. A murder warrant was issued for Smith after his 43-year-old wife, Lisa, was stabbed to death during an April 8th domestic dispute in New Brunsville's. The couple's teenage son and daughter were also hurt. A a property caretaker checking a heavily wooded area came upon a truck matching one owned by Smith. Police say the truck apparently went through a retention pond and wrecked in a wooded area. Some human remains were nearby. Police on Tuesday announced Smith had been identified. Newschannel10.com reports police have identified a 14-year-old Central Texas boy who died by being struck by a Department of Public Safety patrol car. College Station police say Mark Harding Jr. of College Station died following the accident around 1 a.m. Wednesday. Police say that Harding was hit while trying to cross a road and suffered a head injury. The teen died at the hospital. Police have identified the driver as Trooper Justin Stoller. The DPS officer was on patrol at the time of the accident. From KHOU.com in El Paso, a West Texas teenager has been accused of faking cancer and collecting about $17,000 in donations. Police say 18-year-old Angie Gomez of Horizon City had been charged with theft by deception. Detective Lalina Medina says there's nothing to indicate that Gomez has cancer. Police received a complaint in June that Gomez, who claimed she was dying from leukemia, did not appear to be sick. Police on Tuesday announced the charge against Gomez, who has not been arrested yet. Gomez in May announced she had started a foundation called Achieve the Dream to Benefit Cancer-Stricken Children. A website for the foundation is not currently in service. Texas high school students stumbled badly on the SAT this year as scores dropped sharply in math reading, and writing to their lowest levels in several years. They were not alone. Average scores across the nation on the college entrance exam also dropped, although not as precipitously as in Texas. The decline in scores in Texas and other states come as a surprise to state officials who noted that scores improved on other tests, such as ACT, the other major college entrance exam in the U.S. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.